Today in introducing series, we will discuss briefly about Sandra Gilbert and Susan Huber's The Mad Woman in the Attic. The Mad Woman in the Attic was published in 1979. In this groundbreaking book, the authors use stories of the female authors of the 19th century as metaphors. The book begins with an elaborate discussion of feminist poetics and then proceeds to examine 19th century female authors like Jane Austen, Mary Shelley, the Bronte sisters, George Eliot and Emily Dickinson. These writers use similar themes and images to dramatize social limitations they themselves suffered as women. They write like an angel in the house of fiction, masking their own truth and scattering their real desires. They express this through metaphors of confinement and maddened doubles. Instead of relying on Harold Broom's anxiety of influence, Gilbert and Guber introduce the idea of anxiety of authorship because a female writer can never become a precursor since the act of writing will either isolate or destroy her. Women writers of the 19th century created their female characters to embody an angel or the monster because of the patriarchal literary tradition that forced them to portray women as these extremes.